Hello, uh, uh, welcome back to Psychology with Education module. Today, I'm going to talk about the developmental psychology. So, Piaget, uh, Piaget is the um, um, psychologist who is uh, contribute uh, uh, lots in developmental psychology. Uh, so, basically, Piaget's, uh, co Piaget's uh, constructivity approach in educa education is uh, nowadays, uh, well, most of the schools are using his uh, approach in education. First, before that, I uh, I would like to talk. I would like to talk about who is this Piaget. Uh, Piaget's 1936 was the first psychologist to make a systematic study of cognitive development. Uh, according to Piaget's children are born with a very basic mental structure. Uh, he, 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 he was saying that uh, children, all the children are genetically inherited and inherited and evolved on which all the subsequent, subsequent learning and knowledge is based. Uh, basically, he said all the children have different uh, capacity of mental, uh, mental power. So they inherited their parents. But if you give, if, if they are in interact with the environment, then they can develop uh, their um, cognitive development. What is constructivism and how it impacts on education? Uh, constructivism is a learning theory found in psychology which explains how people might acquire knowledge and learn. Piaget's theory of constructivity learning has had wide-ranging impact on learning theories and teaching methods. He proposed that schema, a concept of framework that organizes and interprets information. So assimilation and accommodations are very important aspects in his theory. His theory suggests that there are four stages in child development which all children pass in particular order. Uh, first of all, we need to understand what is schema. Uh, schema is the knowledge, experience, the emotions we bring to current situation. In, in another word, we can say uh, building bo blocks knowledge. In more simple terms, Piaget called the schema the basic building block of intelligent behavior, a way of organization, organizing knowledge. For example, when a child might have a schema about writing on a street sheet, whenever the child sees the sheet, she or he start to write. That, that is the schema. So whenever you go to the park, you, you start to play. So you already know when you go to park, you need to you need to play. Or same like that, whenever you go to the restaurant, you're looking for the food, you already save some information uh, before before you, before you visit. So these are the schema. These schema script uh, is saved on, on each person's memory. So they use, they will apply when the situations come. So it means a pattern of behavior already saved on script. When the certain situation comes, the child may apply the script which already saved on its memory. Four important stages which relates to young children's learning and development. This is called the Piaget's uh, uh, stages theory. He mentioned that a uh, sensory motor stage is zero to two years. It means babies and toddlers use their sense and motor skills to understand the world. Object permanent. This time the, 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 there will be object permanence comes. So the baby is always uh, licking the cups or licking the cubes or anything. So they just use the sense to understand the world and kicking the floor or kicking, uh, kicking, kicking with the um, hand or leg. So these kind of activities, they just understand uh, the world. They, they, they use their sense. There is eyes, ears, hands, and nose. Uh, so this is called the sensory motor stage. The next stage is uh, his uh, PRG stage. Next is pre-operational stage. It's two to seven years. So it means uh, the children are always representing things with words and images. 
So always they represent, represent the things with words and images. For example, the children use the banana to talk, pretend to like a fork, using a fork. Or children uh, use a, a, a broomstick to play the cricket or play something. So they, they use, the, they're representing things to act, at the actual things. It, it, the next one is the concrete operational stage. It's the 7 to 11 years. So these stages, the children, normally a child start to think logically about uh, uh, concrete events. So he just did an experiment. His experiment was very famous. It's called conservation task uh, and the mathematical transfor transformation. So this is a so this is concrete operational stage. The next stage is the formal operational stage. It's over 11 years old. So children may always think abstract thinking. Uh, they're always logical thinking and potential for mature moral reasoning. So in this time, uh, the children are very ready to do some uh, problem solving or mental or spiritual uh, test. Or, or so they are very um, in this stage. They are very very confident to do do do, do those logical thinking, logical or abstract uh, create ab abstract uh, thinking. So now we are going to see how we can put in the theory in the practice. So Piaget's approaches uh, normally they are used in the school or, or always they are using in the school. So in here I just want to mention how this theory into practice. So in, in, in when you see the classroom, <clears throat> for example, active involvement in the environment, it is very important that children need to interact with the environment. Uh, example, problem solving, higher order thinking skill. This action will suitable for all the stages of development. So always uh, when you see in the preschool or high school, uh, primary school, the children are always uh, in, in always children have the children has to has the opportunity to uh, interact with the environment so from that en interaction they will learn lots of things uh, problem solving or uh, higher order thinking skills so the teachers always uh, provide an opportunity to interact with the environment and find out uh, the solution from solution so students learn best by constructing new ideas based on conversion with current and previous knowledge. So this is simply called Piaget schema. So children already learn in their preschool or in their home, then they just apply in the in the classroom. So, so they just comparison their old old schema to new uh, schema. So they, they automatically they use their schemas. The next one is benefits of pretend play. So Though it's, it's already I said it's a pre-operational stage, two to seven years. Uh, so the benefit of the pretend play is always strengthens mental ability and contribute to cognitive and social development. Uh, so pretend play always uh, gives strengthen the mental uh, power. Um, uh, that's, what, that's what always the children uh, in, in the play schools or in the primary school you can see the teachers always. Uh, Make the children to dressing up um, event and uh, or <clears throat> so teachers mostly include includes in constructivism in their classroom. Example: group project, experiment, individual or group, or take children to field trip, visual context film. So these things like formal operational stage over eleven years. So now we need to see strength of the Piaget's approach in educational setting. So, so how this one Piaget's approach uh, help the educational setting. Uh, so focus on the process of learning rather than end product of it. So it's normally it's focus on process of learning. So Piaget's uh, classroom always will be active because it's, it's process of learning. Every all the children supposed to learn. There is no Oh, just um, just sitting and listening. They always active learners. Children are active learners in their class in in Piaget's uh, classroom. Piaget's uh, idea of the classroom. Then 
Next one is evaluate the level of the child's development so suitable tasks can be set. So according to his stage of development, he uh, I already mentioned that uh, he introduced the four stages of development. So the teacher will understand the child uh, the child capacity, mental capacity. So the child may um, divide it into different settings. So the teacher can explain easily. So the, he he can she can. Um, more she can provide a more help to low uh, low group children so this definitely benefit for the uh, student i mean uh, uh, student next one is the using collaborative as well as the individual activities using collaborative as well as individual activity means so children can learn from each other it will lead to cognitive development for example rather sitting in a one place rather sitting in a one place and if they learn a self by themselves, it's not. Sometimes it's, it won't work. So if if they do any project within a group or within a or with a two uh, two of the uh, two students, it definitely uh, motivate them, motivate the students, and they enjoy to do this project. They won't feel any bored. So these are the strength of the Piaget's approach in education. And the next one is weakness of Piaget's approaches in educational setting. So we already saw the strength of his uh, approach in education. Now we are going to see what are the weakness of Piaget's approach in educational setting. Uh, formal operational stage. When children reach 11 years, they're simply not able to engage with this idea of hypothesis scientific thought. Uh, for example, Teaching 1979 reported that 40 to 60 percentage of college students fail at formal operations tasks. He, he had a conduct uh, experiment uh, uh, regard, regarding about the concrete uh, formal operational stage, but he, half of the children fail his uh, formal, formal operational task. So it's, it's one of the weakness of his uh, idea. The next one, the next one is he failed to consider the effect that the social setting and culture may have on cognitive development. So uh, he didn't consider about the social uh, and cultural uh, uh, and um, background of the child. So it's it, it's definitely it will give impact on the ch child development. So he didn't mention those things. He 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 ignored it. Um, the next one is. Some of the experiment very difficult for children to understand. Uh, yeah, because he done a, a mountain, three mountain task. It's, it is very, uh, it is very, children fight, found a little bit confused about this, about this experiment. As you can't, I didn't mention the uh, mountain task. You can go to the uh, YouTube and uh, find out Piaget's three mountain task and you will understand about his three mountain task. So it is, bit confused uh, confused the children so he didn't get the actual his results is not equally validity not equal validity yeah so next one is prj may have may underestimate child's ability uh, so he done uh, again the conservation task between four to five years old children so his uh, experiment was a bit uh, um, uh, not equally validity because he underestimated the children's talent. So again, you have to go go to YouTube and find out what is his conservation task. Uh, so these are the weakness of Piaget's approaches in education setting. Finally, um, I just uh, conclude uh, Piaget's uh, educational approach. Uh, it means constructive approach in education. I'll just come and see you another. Uh, approach. Uh, see you soon.